Hello, in this video, we're going to be taking a look at HIPAA homepages. This can be homepages for a portal, for an e-commerce, a lab system. It could be a home care or it could be an external device. There are a lot of different applications where HIPAA comes into play. And we're going to take a look at some of the different homepages and how they present kind of what their overall process is and what their overall value is in the market and how you might be able to adapt this for your particular project as well. Okay, let's dive in. Okay, so in this particular example, you can see that this homepage actually shows a workflow for the user right away. So you can see it's three simple steps, and we really like this approach whenever we're doing some kind of diagnostic process or some sort of kind of multi-step process just being very clear with the user and kind of making it simple for them to understand. Now, this particular homepage goes on to show some very nice visuals, some nice testimonials, and just overall gives access to the users to some basic FAQs and then information about how someone can get access to help. Uh, this is a really nice kind of visual presentation overall, and it keeps it pretty simple and clean. So another example is this particular men's online clinic. And here you can see the user has access to, again, just kind of a very quick visual. In this particular case, there's an immediate call to action to start their consultation. And then we're showing some of the featured products and giving them the ability to kind of drill into some of those products. And again, a three-step process. You'll probably see this a lot with any process like HIPAA that, you know, depending on your, your particular business model, it has a lot of regulation. There are going to be requirements for the doctor to sign off, a pharmacist to sign off for some additional steps in many cases. And so we're going to want to show the end user those steps. And then you can hear uh, and see kind of some of the experts and possibly social proof with recommendations or experts who are backing up the business and represent the business. And again, just kind of constant calls to action for the user to be able to kind of take the next steps. It also really helps a lot to have visual icons so that the user uh, is going to be used to seeing and help them to be able to identify these as, hey, this is gonna be easy. All I have to do is follow these steps. Uh, here's a variation on that same homepage. You can see here that we're just kind of really heavily focusing on the steps visually. And then again, we're showing this kind of expert proof and making it really easy for the user to get started. Um, in this particular case, this is more of a product-based HIPAA e-commerce platform. And so for these particular products, you can see that we're showing some of the featured items right away. We're also showing a featured category right away. And then we're also showing popular categories and then finally an overview of the company. So this is really focusing on this kind of transactional information sharing right on the homepage. You'll see this quite often with e-commerce where it's really popular for the user to be able to kind of visually get to where they're going very quickly. Now we also have the search that's very prominent at the top. And so this is really showcasing a kind of e-commerce type of functionality that is very deep with the product catalog and the number of products available. Now for this particular platform, this is more of a B2B uh, kind of bulk purchasing on behalf of another user. So this is essentially a supply for pharmacies to purchase items and deliver them to their end customers. So this is pretty interesting where the homepage is kind of showing that very visually and they're showing that basically a pharmacy is receiving items and then we're also getting this kind of credibility on the homepage, uh, some very nice kind of logos, uh, name dropping, if you will, uh, some news, and then also some of the authorized distributors that are part of the brands that this particular kind of distribution group uh, provides. And again, this has really got some nice calls to action so the user can literally jump right in, uh, become a customer, or they can order their products. Uh, they can go ahead and log in, et cetera. So this homepage is really focused around kind of conveying to folks what this company does 
but it's a very different model than some of the e-commerce or some of the lab type of uh, testing companies that we saw previously. Okay, and then this particular homepage is really simple. Uh, this is for a device, and this is a device portal where the user can go and just specify whether or not they're a healthcare professional or a patient. Now, the main idea here is that we're showing them something really simple, uh, but we can really elaborate on this depending on the business. So this could be a much more complex presentation. And in fact, for this particular company, they have different branches and different devices. And based on the complexity of those devices, there's a lot more detail. Uh, but in a lot of cases, the user is actually coming to this homepage from a device uh, or they're getting to it from a link that they've received. So they're not necessarily looking for a lot of information. They just need to be directed to take the next step in the process. So the bottom line on these homepages is it really is going to depend on your business as to how you want to present things, what options you want to give the user. Do you even want them to have the ability to search for your products? Or is it a really a process that you want them to go through and you want to very closely guide them through that process? Um, do you want them to be able to see some of the credibility of your organization and understand the steps in the process? Or do you want them to pretty much immediately just get access to the categories and the products? Uh, or is it more of them needing to understand about your business model? Maybe they're not clear on how your business works and they just need to understand the concept even if you're in a very unique aspect of HIPAA. And then finally, is it just a very utilitarian homepage that you're gonna be delivering? These are all options. And really the main takeaway here is that the homepage itself can be very robust. So we can even change content once someone logs in. Uh, we can make it more of like a dashboard. Uh, we can adapt the content based on what that user is actually interested in. And finally, we can also adjust the content on the homepage based on subdomains or different branding that you want for different focus areas or different regions that you're applying your homepage to. And really the list goes on. So the most important takeaway here overall is that the homepage is a really key aspect of your funnel and you wanna make sure that you heavily optimize for your specific business needs. Okay, so we hope that you've enjoyed the video that we just covered. And ultimately, one of the big takeaways that we want to encourage you to consider is that we do offer a complimentary discovery process and a lot of additional resources that are complimentary related to this topic. One of the biggest things about the Clarity software and the overall Clarity process is we really like to build long-term relationships. In fact, we really see this as an opportunity to help even if there isn't a good fit for us to directly work together. Uh, we really care about this industry and what's going on in the space. And we encourage you to take advantage of our complimentary resources as well as our complimentary discovery and strategy sessions that we can offer. If we can help, we certainly encourage you to dig in with us and ask for support as you approach any of your upcoming projects. And with that said, if you would help us as well to get the word out about this valuable service and these valuable resources, uh, we just ask that you hit the like button and subscribe if you're watching this online. And we will look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thanks for watching and bye for now.